Okay, here we are for some tea as the dusk falls. I was going to say, I'm not doing it in the evening. I'm, this is the last tea for the day. I'm being responsible. Uh, well, not that, you know, I can sleep when I want, but uh, I, just, I, I just, I have to force myself to be consistent. And I'm not, and that doesn't work at all. But I have to try to be consistent and not be like, pull like a butterfly splattered on a windshield and everything I do. Okay, so, with that said, oh yeah, did I say I just, um, on oh, the first one I, I said I, uh, oh no, you can't see my tea wear stuff now, huh? You can hear the clink. Oh, wait, that's not right. You can hear the, <laughs> you can hear, here's, here's my little pinky one here. Green tea here. It's one of our favorites, you know. Okay, now you can't see me. The, you know, I want you to know that, that this is the, this is the, uh, that's the camera stand we got going. This is a load budget performance. I'm not sick, uh, I don't need help. I'll spend more on you than, than on this stupid video channel. I want to get, I told you I'd get you some wet food tonight and I'm going to do it. All right, now you can't see anything again. You see, I'm like a butterfly splattered on a windshield, which, which is very beautiful to look at, but it's, it's not good. It's not going to do whatever. Ah, this is, this is like really, no, this isn't funny. This is just annoying. Nobody's going to watch that. Okay. So, all right. Again, try again. Oh, that's kind of nice. We're going to get the sunset finally. Nice. How about that, wee one? We're going to give the people a sunset. And now we can't see. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. The solution here is to innovate. And uh, this might actually be a good idea, actually. Well, I know it's a good idea, but it might be something I want to do even when I don't have to. Uh, I'm going to show you up close all the pouring. How's that? Well, this I'm getting. A, I'm getting an upper body workout too. Did I say I just? I just worked out. You know, your brain works better when you make your body do stuff it doesn't want to, particularly. I wasn't counting there. Just, well, you know, I I have um, you know, kind of. A, well, no, I, I have hyperkyphosis, which is why the. the Humpback thing. Uh, uh, it's like scoliosis except for that. Um, you know, and, and holding my hands up, doing stuff is challenging. So, but look at this. I got some nice tea out of that work. We won. Come on, enjoy the sunset with me. Rosie Pants. Produce 
hot water and steam, of course, uh, at a, at a um, facility down by the Science Museum, which is down by the river, which is, you know, that way. <laughs> it's that way! <laughs> it looks that way. Um, so, uh, and that beats, I, I don't know, all or most of the large buildings downtown, the, the, the hot water provides both hot water and heat. It's hooked up to the heating system. The plant also produces electricity, which goes out to uh, chillers, they're called. They're the, if, you, if you're from Twin, Twin Cities, the, these mysterious things that look like uh, they, the big cylinders, cylinder buildings that look like what you would expect to see in a gas storage filled facility, you know, like up in Shoreview or something. That, those, are, those are chillers that use the electricity to make cold water. And that's distributed to the uh, buildings. It was, it's the first um, system of it, of its kind in the world. Uh, you know, it doesn't please everybody. You know, you can burn anything you want. So they phased out coal uh, several years ago. Uh, and I know that, you know, biofuels are, uh, you know, they don't seem... Yeah, it's cheating when you consider them renewable because the first chop of the forest, you're, you're not, you, you didn't grow that forest. So it's not like you're saying you're replacing uh, everything you, but I don't know. I, I, people get paid to think about this and um, I'm an, uh, enough of an optimist to think that I am going to end up in a splitting universe that's pretty good for me. I didn't used to be good at that. Uh, you know, I think I think it's like that playing a video game and I'm not gonna play it better. It's maybe something like the Taoist concept of, I don't even remember the word, but just like, you, you know, doing while not doing or something like that. Uh, the idea is that we're, we're, we're traveling in a river and we can't swim any way we want as easily. So we gotta tune in to the direction the river's flowing and make our paddling work with that. Uh, I think a lot of people, I, I don't know how to explain what the difference is. I don't know, it, it, I mean, I think I am better at looking for opportunities to take advantage of if I just think like, oh yeah, things are gonna work out for me. So, you know, just being more aware of, maybe it's just being more aware of opportunities and maybe like instead of, you know, and what do I mean by opportunity? You, you know, this is everything from how you're gonna spend your free time to what you're gonna spend your work time doing. Like me, it's a big decision. Like, you know, am I, am I gonna sit down and am I gonna do something that's gonna lead directly to money or am I gonna, and that was we wanted to quote Krishna, or am I gonna learn something new? Uh, those kind of decisions, I think, especially you can influence this because you have control over what you're doing. And expecting yourself to have everything under control, I don't know, I just, I didn't really think about it. I, 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 I can't imagine I'm as old as I am. Or I never could until right now, and sometimes I have a hard time believing it, but, um, but you know, when I was younger, I was like, you know, my parents were on me because I didn't have uh, health insurance and like, why would I need health insurance? Um, I kept the teen risk-taking thing. Uh, I took that well into my 30s, maybe even 40s. Um, maybe even now! Probably now. I feel like I'm running on a thin, thin razor of ice. And it's awesome because like the wind's blowing through my hair. Oh, we're, al we're, already, we're already at 180 degrees and you can tell this tea is making me jolly. Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna show you 
I'm going to continue to show you. <laughs> you know, I might, I might, I might end up liking this because I'm getting some good workout for my arms and some stretches. It's making me more confident standing up taller. Here, I wonder how long I can hold this position. Oh, uh, you know, I've been, I used to mention this a lot, but my hands shake because I have a disease called Wilson's disease, which is a neurological dis disorder resulting from your, uh, your uh, liver's inability to produce the enzyme that helps your blood excrete copper. So there's a small amount of copper in all the food, a lot of food, and when that goes in my body, it doesn't come out without help. So, uh, so I had a pretty wrecked up nervous system in my 20s, but it's gotten better over the years, but I, my hands still shake. And you know, part, that's part, partly why I'm kind of a little bananas, because I, I, I have like literal scars in my brain, and like over the years, I think I'm, my, my brain has grown, grown around that, but it's a little bit unusual, you know. Is I'm, I'm maybe like a, I'm maybe like a, I'm maybe like a, a, a plant growing instead of on a cliff on a, a chain link fence, you know. I'm I, so. I don't know, that sounds like a good thing, so. You can't get Wilson's disease if you, just so don't even think about that. It's genetic, so you either have it or you don't, sorry. Yeah. See, uh, yeah. That's, you know, I, I, at certain times when I'm fatigued, the hands will shake more. And when they're doing something, they'll shake more. Yeah. So this is, um... <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think there's any tea that you shake. There's... Uh, that's coffee that you pour from... Uh, tea? Tea? Is preferable to coffee. If I had one pick. I, I, I have coffee. I go weeks for it without it, but I, I like it once or twice a week. Yeah. Oh, can you see that corner? We're getting a nice sunset here. Should I do, I, I'll do another seat. Whew. You know, I just, pfft, I just went for a walk and I was like testing something that has been in a client's arena for a couple days that I didn't test well before I told people what you had. So I just had to, I just, um... <sighs> Boy, that's something, that's something you ought to tell your viewers if you're thinking one of them might say, hey, you know, I've got some web work for you to do. Um... I'm very fortunate, you know, I was, I was, I was born into a part of the river that pretty easy compared to a lot, you know, including a lot right around me. I, I, you don't have to go to third world country to, okay, watch this. I'm going to go directly into the cup, and as you know, that makes me feel hardcore. And the idea with tea is to get generally most of it in your mouth. You've done a pretty good job of that, right? Come on, I'm gonna say goodbye to the people pretty quick here. Everyone, you wanna come say goodbye? Come on, can you say goodbye one more time? Oh, uh, no, she looks pretty, uh, she looks pretty determined to give me that where's my food look from a distance. Oh no, here she comes. I won't put any ideas in her head up. Uh, okay, maybe if I ignore her, she'll come up. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, she's, we communicate really well. Um, she's, she's, other than, I think it's just like when she's hungry, she can't think of anything to do but stare at me. Um, she's, she's really good at letting me know when she's really hungry. 
like when it's dinner time. She'll, 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 she'll act like, like she's supposed to be fed all day, but, um, but there's a little alarm that goes off at the tummy at the right time. Yeah. All right. Um, just got like one little bit more here. And then it's back to, you know, the golden hour is when I uh, just start to shine and uh, I'm brightest between 11 and midnight. So I've got three hours till peak productivity. And uh, so I, and I gotta get some food in this little one's belly before then. I don't know why I thought of a corn dog. <laughs> I, you know, I was thinking, okay, what, what easy can I get across the street? Corn dog. Good. Well, you know, I'm not supposed to eat corn dogs because sausage, uh, they might have organ meats in them, which are very high copper and high copper stuff. Because as you know, I will say these make me all shaky. Make me all shaky. All right, talk soon. <laughs> Here, there's the, there's the capital close-up. my dirty window. Have a good evening.